Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to part three of the Origami Baby Ryujin by Daniel Brown tutorial. Now before we get into the tutorial, please make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss content like this. So we just finished collapsing our model, but for this part we're going to need some extra tools to shape it. So what we're going to need is some glue, some wire, some of the, well, I'll use some of these twisty tie things so you can hook it around, some clothespins, more clothespins, and some crab legs. So let's get started. Well first, there's a couple of changes I made to this model. Last time you saw it, it was like this. This is where we left it. Hold on, let me fix the middle bit. I did some changes to it. And no, this is not the official way of shaping this model. I do not know the official way. This is just my way that I came up with. This is my way of shaping the head. Just things that I've come up with. So, no, this is not the official way to shape it, but this is all what I did. So, first, what we'll do is these legs right here, we're going to, oh, this part keeps coming undone. There. We're going to, against this right here, we're going to go one unit, well, where this is, we're going to go one unit up and then squash it. So like that. It won't work. Well, it will work, but the thing is, it's not all the way back. It's one unit up from all the way back. And then for right here, what we'll do for these legs, we're going to fold. All right, so open it up and make a diagonal line right along here like that. Now we're going to do is fold this over. We could do that, but I find it easier to untuck this corner and just press it right there. And again, we're folding it. If the base is right here, if the base is right along there, from that corner we're going up, then swiveling that over. Now we'll do the same thing right here. So, but this one's a little different. The base is right here. So the base doesn't start down at this right here. It's a unit up. And so that the legs are the same size, for this side of the base, what we'll do is one unit up from where it starts is where the top of the diagonal will be. We'll fold that up, push the corner up, and there, there are our legs. But for this one, I'm gonna do it backwards. You can do it that way, or but the legs will be crooked. So what I'm going to do, this is a different way. I'm gonna fold this down, and then we'll make this a mountain fold, and fold it over to this line, like that. Now we're gonna take this layer and fold it up, and then squash it down. And then the legs should be the exact same. And then at the top right here where we squashed it, they should be like that. So you should have four legs like that. Another thing you could do for these top legs is push this layer in, but that's really not needed. It works fine. All right, so now I'm going to start shaping the head. So I'm gonna do, this is my way of shaping the head again, not the official way, this is just what I'm doing. And I have a very different way of doing it. So for my way, you can find your own way or something, but for my way, what we're gonna do, 
So we're gonna open up the model right through the bottom, like that. And I'm just gonna close pin it off so we know that's where the flat is. Like that. And it, you should notice it comes right to where these feet are. And we can squash that just like that. And now we're gonna focus on the head. And what we'll do, or what I'll do, is I'm gonna fold this up right here and then squash this like that. Squash it and then fold this part out. Bring this out and fold this down like that. Now we have to neaten it up a little bit. Yeah, and then you can fold this up or down, but I'm gonna keep it down. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So open it up like that and squash it. like that, and then we're gonna tuck out, untuck this layer. And now open these. And now we are going to start, let's see. We're gonna start making some sink folds. So, right here, Okay, right here, we're not going to, let me see here. All right, so, All right, so this is this the dragon head. dragon head I'm trying to put on it. I designed this off of the base. So right here is the base for this dragon head. You can shape it however you want it. This is my way, but this is just how I do it. But I forgot, this has to go up. We fold this over, over again. Both of them have to go up. You fold this over and this goes down. Like that. And now we have to make some squash folds. So, right here. This. We're gonna fold this down, and we're gonna squash fold it right there. So that is the squash fold. Now we have to do the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna have this come, fold that back up, and fold this down. like that and then we can fold it up now on the bottom jaw we squash fold did this now we have to squash fold this so squash fold that right there fold that over squash fold this Fold that over. We can turn it back over. So that is the base for my dragon head. You can see top 
Well, no, that, yeah, this is the top jaw, the tongue, bottom jaw, I think. Yeah. Just like that. And now I'm going to show you. All right, so now what we do is fold this up, and we have to do three sinks on each side. So fold this. We have our middle layer here. These do not get sunk. This and this do not get sunk. But if we're at the middle and we fold that over, and we fold this point to that point, like that. Now we can sink this point. Like that. And we have three sinks on each side, so we can fold this up. And now the best way to sink the, this middle one is to fold this flap down and go inside. And it's this point to the middle. Right there. Then you can fold this back up and sink it. Like that. And now we have one last sink to do. You see, this is the middle and we have done two sinks. We have one more to do. And that is this one. And it's pretty easy to get to, but not the easiest. So it's that corner right there, fold it to the middle. And now we can sink it, open this up. And there we go, we have that. Now what we can do is do the same thing on the other side. So we can just rotate, fold this flap up and do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna go a little faster on this side. So open this up, sink it. Fold that back up to the top like that. Now we're gonna fold this over and fold this down to get to the layer in here. And we're gonna fold this over like that. Now we can bring that over and bring this back up to sink it. Like that. And now we can do the last one, which is just folding this point inside there. Like that, and we can fold this back over in the middle. There we go. Now we should have this. And there's a few extra layers that we have to take down. 
So first, what we can do is you can either valley fold this or sink it, but just fold these layers right here, fold it over like that, and then squash that. And then turn the model over. And then all of these layers right here, you can fold those over like that. Then there should be this point sticking out. And you can fold this back up. I'm gonna unclip this. And then you can see when this right here hits this, you just continue this all the way down. And then when it hits that, you can just make a simple squash fold right there. And then the top, when it gets hit, and just fold that up like that. So right here gets squashed here. Like this. like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So fold this over until we get to that middle part right there. It's hard to keep all the layers together right here. But we have that and squash this and bring this all the way down. And then fold that down right here. And then these points you can bring to the front. And then fold this up. There we go. Like that. And then the head should be very thin, but it will look bigger because it all comes out. You will see, but this is all gonna be hidden inside the model, so it won't really matter. So we should have that, and then we can just work on the transitions here. Like that. And then to get it on this side, I'm gonna unclip this. Right here, when this folds over, you can just do that. But this part is hard. What you have to do is, or what I'm going to do, right here, I'm just going to separate it like that. Well, just when this comes here, bring this together. Just like that. There. And then you'll see when the scales wrap all the way around, 
you don't notice it, that it's thin. Like that. But there's another problem. The head is now upside down. It is in all Ryujins. So we have to perform a neck twist. And to do this, I'm gonna open up right here. Just open up this area. And right here, just make a long diagonal crease all the way through. Just like that. And now collapse with two valley folds right there and right there. And then you can sink the tips of these areas poking out. And now the head should be a lot longer than the body. Now we can remake our creases like that. Now we have enough room for a neck twist, but we're not gonna do that now. Well, actually, yeah, we'll do that now. So, for a moment, we'll unfold this, like that. We just need to have the creases there. And now we will perform the neck twist. So, the neck twist is very simple. All we have to do is make, right here, we're gonna make a mountain fold. Yeah. Right here, we're gonna make a mountain fold. And this mountain fold, we're gonna take this edge and fold it to the top edge. Through all those layers, it's very thick, but it's like that. Now we're gonna take this edge and fold it to the top edge. So we have this. And if you notice, the neck twisted like that. Now you can reform all these creases. And it still should work. So there I have one reformed. Two reformed. After each step, it's good to make sure that the next twist is still there so that you don't lose it or lose where it was. There. Now we just have to get the middle, which is not too tricky. There's that middle part. Neck twist is there. Now I'm gonna do this one. And then you'll see that the neck twist is kind of spaced out. And that's good so that it lines up perfectly with the other part. Now what we can do is we have that. We can put a clothespin on that. And you can see that, that now the neck fits perfectly in the scales and it's right side out. Now, let me see how long this video is. Okay, it's not too bad. Now we are going to work on the head. The head details. So, I'm going to scoot that back a tiny bit. And, all right, now, let me see. Oh. Okay. Now we're going to work on the head details. So, for the head details, we're gonna start 
with, as you can see right here, what happens is we take this larger unit and fold it up so that it goes with this unit and then we just fold it all the way up and squash fold there. So what happens is this is folded back and we can bring this out like that. This, we fold it up and if you go through two layers, you can see exactly where it should go. And now you can continue the crease all the way through like that. And just fold that up. So we should have this and then this right here you can do is squash fold that and you just kind of want to get this and just squash fold it here for now like that now we're going to turn over and do the same thing go to the second layer And squash fold it like that. Now we should have this. And as you can see on here, once we have that, or this, I can't do it that way on the this. Once we have this, all we can do is right here we're gonna fold down on this and then pivot like that so what we're gonna do is right up here we're gonna make a line to this point and we're gonna fold down and we still want this to be pointy so we're gonna pivot it up just like that. And then these should still be here. And we just have that sort of squiggle right there. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right here, we're gonna fold this down along the top. And then we want this to be here, so we're gonna pivot it back up. Now, let's see. Now what we're going to do is the top of the head, we're going to shift it up. So holding on to all of these layers like this, we're just going to roll this layer right there up like that. Just rolling it up a tiny bit. Try to match it on the other side, just rolling it up. Like that. Now we are going to take the bottom jaw and we're going to open it up. And right through here, you can see we're going to make it a valley fold we're gonna stretch it through here. So basically just reverse folding it down through these creases, like that. Now you can see that we have three different spikes. And for the middle spike, we're now going to shape the tongue. So we're gonna sort of press it down like that. And we're gonna kind of curl or reverse fold the sides. And now we're gonna curl it up and curl it out. So it should look like this or like that. And you can see how that part, we reverse folded the sides. So that's the tongue. And now we are going to work on the top of the head. So 
we're just going to reverse fold. All right, so now we're going to reverse fold the top of the head like that. And then we are going to take this bit and tuck it inside of the head. So again, this bit and tuck it inside of the head. So we're going to need two creases to do this. One to get the main part. And then inside we're going to have to tuck in a tiny bit more. So there. And it should look like that, and we can open that up a little bit. Like that. Now we're going to pretty much do the same thing with the bottom. So reverse fold this up. And fold it in twice. Now you can kind of see the dragon's head, the outline taking place. And what we're going to do is this ear or antler right there, we're going to fold this down and fold this down and just sort of get this because the model isn't lying flat anymore because the tongue sideways and now we're just shaping it. So we're going to get this and just rabbit ear it so that it comes straight out and bend it back up like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mountain fold it in half and just bring it straight up in the back like that. We'll get more into that when we add glue. And this part, we're going to rabbit ear it. Like that. Now we are going to, since we have that, and it's looking very close to a dragon's head, we are going to make the ears. So to make the ears, we're going to use these flaps right here, fold that down and thin it and just bring it forward more like that. And then it's, they just kind of stick up like horns. Bring them straight up like that. Now we're going to want to bring the horns back even farther like that. Now it's really starting to look like a dragon's head. And you can see we should have that. Now we're going to make the eye. And there's two ways to make the eye. The second way is, the first way is just to take this layer right here, fold it up like that, and open it up a little bit to make the eye. But there's also a more complicated way to make the eye, which I'm going to try to show you. So to make the eye, what I'm going to do is inside right here, we're going to make a small pleat like that. And basically you're trying to outline the eye right in there. So I'm going to make a small pleat there that swivels like the top to the, this part of the tongue. 
like that. And then it's just triangular sort of right there. And then we can just define it a little more. And you can see the eyes right there. It's a little more tricky and harder to get right. But there is that. After you swivel though, you have to reshape the tongue. But... Now you have that. Now we're gonna turn it over and do the same thing on this side. So just take this and swivel it. Like that. Then make a triangle. And now we just need to reshape the tongue. Like that. So that is the head. Oh, and the, also the last thing we have to do is make the horns. Now the horns, there's many ways you can make the horns, but the way I make the horns is I reverse fold this like that to make this side like that side to make it even. Then we have to make two folds to fold that extra part back inside the model like that to hide it. Now press this here and this here. And if you get it right, it will kind of look like a mini version of the Ryujin 3.5 horns. So like that. And you just fold it like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So now we have that. And that is the head, or how I shape the head. That, I'm gonna tuck this part under. Like that. And there is the head. And now you can see, I'm gonna unclip that. When it comes with the scales, it fits perfectly in like that. And that is the head right there. Around this. That's the head and it wraps up with the scales.
Now we are going to make the dorsal spines. So this model doesn't really have dorsal spines. This is just a modification you can add to it. But for this part, I'm going to make the dorsal spines and then the tail and then I don't think I'll be able to get everything in one part. So in the next part, we are going to use the glue and finish shaping. So to make the dorsal spines, first unfold this bottom section right there like that. And you're gonna fold this bottom edge to that line. Like that. And then just fold it all up. I was planning to do this all in one video, but the head took so much longer than I thought it would take. Alright, so now, if you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to make the dorsal spines. So, to make dorsal spines, all you do is, I'm going to start right here. I'm just going to make one to get started. It's best to have some more space for dorsal spines, but it'll work just fine. So I'm gonna, this first one, you can look back on it in a moment once I've taught you how to do the dorsal spines to see how I did this one. I'm just extending it out very far to the tip of where the tail would be so that it gives us more ideas for the tail design like that. All right, so to make a dorsal spine, it is very simple. It's just very time consuming. All you do is right here, what you're gonna do is make a valley fold from the point of right here to that point in there. So it's basically down diagonal to units like that. And then you make the this unit up and up. So diagonal valley up. And then just press it together and then the two creases, two valley folds down there should form. So those are the dorsal spines. Now just continue all the way down. I'm gonna do this one and then go to a time lapse. So there. Now just continue that all the way down, all of these, and you should have what I have after the time lapse.
All right, so now we should have all of our dorsal spines done like that. The thing is, when the model wraps around like this, the dorsal spines are gonna be barely showing. So make sure that you have this part covered up. So cover up that part. And now we're almost done with this part. And I'm just going to do the tail. So for the tail, I'm going to just open this up like this. And we're going to do something like the Ryujin 3.5 tail. So right here, what we'll do is we're going to make some creases. And I will show you in a minute what they are. This part is kind of tricky, so don't worry if you can't get it because it is certainly not very easy. So what I'm gonna try to do is we have something like this. I took the creases right here and added two valley folds, folded this over and this should squash like that. And then we can do the same sort of thing right here. like that, we can just close that up. But, yeah. But what we'll do now is we're gonna fold this in half. And let me see, I'm gonna reverse this actually inside. Oh no, I know what I'm gonna do. So right here, I'm gonna make a pleat just right like this on this mountain fold. So if you open this up, again, this is not the official way of doing this, but if you open this up and make these two mountain folds like that, I'm just experimenting here. You can fold that to this edge to sort of ex extend this. I'm not sure it'll work perfectly. You can sort out the details, but that'll be hidden inside. And you can just open this up like that and bring it all the way down. And yeah, and just have this come right through here. And my plan is, I think this will work, we can make a dorsal spine right here, like on the Ryujin tail. So right here, what we need is this. All right, so right here, we're gonna have this, and then just pleat that up so that this folds over. I'll show you in more detail on both cameras in a moment. I'm just kind of figuring this out. Okay, so 
I figured it out. That's what I'm going to do. Pretty much works. All right. So what I did, I'm going to show you on, I don't know which one I'm going to put in the corner, but this right here, this is what we did. We have this coming down like that. This coming right there. That folds over, and then this is just a diagonal to right there. You can figure it out if or freeze the picture if you don't understand it. And then I'll show you on this camera. What we did is this. So that. We fold these together, and then this, I just added as a diagonal to that point. So just like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so, All right, so I can't do the same thing on this side, it's a little different, but I'm just gonna, but show, I'm just gonna you show you guys, guys, what, I guys did. what I did. So what I'm doing, so what I'm is, doing right is right here, I'm gonna pull this gonna out pull to this make out a dorsal make spine. A dorsal spine. Pull it out and have pull three layers come in like that. I'm just trying to get this as to close to the right Asian 3.5 tail, tail as possible. possible. So I'm just, so I'm making, just that making that sort of dorsal, sort of dorsal spine, spine, in the spine, middle. spine in the middle. All right. And... I'm just gonna have the, these come diagonally up. I don't know how to make that work, but. I'm not sure I can put. All right, so this is gonna come diagonally up to this. Just making that crease. I think that'll look pretty cool. And then this right here come like that and then I'm just gonna have this come over so that that can lie flat and you can pretty much just experiment I'm just showing you my experimentation process experimentation experiment okay so I'm trying to make another sort of reverse fold here yeah I think that'll work All right, so kind of have something going here. Now I'm just gonna get this here. this in more. Now I can get this here. And then I can get this here. And I'm just gonna keep swiveling this until it's hidden.
This will all look a lot better when it's shaped, but fully shaped. I'm just gonna make a reverse fold there. So this is my tail that I made. It's like a mini version of the Ryujin 3.5 tail. Just looks like that. This comes around here. So yeah, that is it for part three. Um, in part four, we're gonna use the glue and finish the tail, stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching. This tail was just kind of an experiment. I think I'm gonna fix it up a little bit, but thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so that you do not miss content like this. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Oh yes, and this is, if you are wondering, what we need the crab legs for. All right, one out, one to go.